Hey guys, Rush here with a new video. Today I'll be showcasing my newest creation. It is a wood mill. It will, you plant a tree and then it will harvest that wood and either put it in storage or have it go into our water system where we can collect the collect the processed wood. I did not use anyone's design uh, to make this. This is completely my own unless someone has the design I used. Um, but I will be making a, tutor oh, a tutorial on how I got the sand to be pushed up in a an upward direction but let's get on with the tutorial we just plant a tree here spam it with some bone meal and then we click the button to begin processing uh, the wood and then you can hear the pistons going at the wood and then we can see our nice little sand belt come down on the tree and then we can look through the glass and see all the wood getting uh, sent out to um, the, the water system and then our sand belt will, cl will clear up, we can plant another tree, spam it with some more bone meal, and then we can press start. And then if we want, we can come over here, walk over here, we can plant another tree over here, and then we can spam it with some more bone meal, and then we can harvest that one, and then we can have both of these running at the same time. I did not want that to happen. It's getting a little laggy though, so you can see our sand belt coming down on this one, and this one should be finishing up. Yeah, like this one is done right here. Um, so yeah, I have about five of these set up. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have five of these set up. All of them can be running at the same time. Um, so that's pretty cool. But I'm not going to because it's going to lag really bad. But every once in a while, you're going to want to check to see if our sand belt is full. And it is full, so I'm just going to cover this back up here and then we can plant another tree here so when we want some wood uh, we just come down here to our little staircase and then we click get me some wood so we click that button and then see if our TNT so you could hear that little explosion there which is pretty cool and then we have it looks like we accidentally blew up a piston that's not good and our wood will start coming down but we'll I'll go on to um, the storage system while we wait for our wood to come down so we just come up here and then I have a ladder right here can just climb up here and then this is our storage system uh, wood will go into these storage tanks over here if the water system is full of wood um, I did not de decide to use I purposely did not use a bud switch at the end of here uh, because it'd be a pain just to like if this piston d uh, back here was full then it wouldn't be good but I have this all clocked out so every time there's uh, wood full here then it will get pushed out and I'll add in that one piston again so yeah um, this is my wood mill it's pretty cool I will be making a tutorial on actually how I got the sand belt to all work out um, again these hold about a 10 by 10 uh, uh, blocks of wood here so I think 200 blocks of wood is good enough um, plus it's just me here and um, the, z the design I use works pretty good on uh, single player but on multiplayer it does not work out so good so let's do that and let's harvest a tree while we go uh, check to see if we got any wood so just click that button and we'll come down here and let's see how much wood we got so right now we have 12 pieces of wood and well, let's come over here and did we get any oh, looks like we only got three uh, yeah that's um, when you explode something with TNT there's like a certain percentage rate if I'm correct on how much uh, wood or how much blocks will be dropped out but I'll go into how I'm able to have all of these working at the same time so when you plant a tree it will harvest the tree and then like I said you have to you might have to add in some sand if it doesn't uh, go 
finished through all the way through but all the wood will be brought up through these pistons with this all clocked out over here and we have um, all of these go into a single line okay and then it uh, will all be brought into here where these pistons will push it outward and then if this is all full then the wood will get sent up through here and go into our storage tanks and then uh, that's basically it from there we can click uh, our get me some wood and then our TNT on top here will fall so to simulate something like that I will uh, add in some wood here Okay, so we have this full of wood. Let's just say that's full of wood. Now, if we were to, uh, if this got full here, and um, this is when this is completely full, then that is when the wood will start going into the storage tanks over here. But. So I'm just gonna push this button right here, and then this will have the TNT fall down. And then it will make a huge hole. And then if there's any wood that collected up here, it will be uh, brought downward. So I guess that's here. I'll fill this little block up. There we go. <coughs> so then all the wood will be brought to our little collection point if any wood got um, for the wood that got destroyed. And it will be brought down on this water stream and we can collect our wood. So that is how my wood mill works and then we got a pretty decent amount of wood from there and then we can go back and start planting some more trees and uh, it's it, that's pretty cool so this is my wood mill thanks for watching be sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe I'll see you guys later